Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul to share with you or a charity shop haul, which is what we call them here in the UK. I found all of these items during the month of November on two different occasions. So some items are from a day trip out to a town called Tewkesbury and some of the items I picked up when Dan and I spent the weekend in Stafford visiting some family. So all of the items I'm sharing today were picked up on two different days from various different charity shops. So I'm going to start with the fabrics and linens first. So these are all the fabrics and linens that I picked up. So I'll start with the trims. So I picked up this peachy coloured one for a pound. There are three yards. There are a couple of marks at the beginning, but it doesn't go all the way through. And I really like the colour on this one. I picked up this wide one for a pound and there was one yard of it. And I thought this design was pretty cool. And then I also got this creamy coloured crochet styled one for £1.50 and there is two and a half yards on this one. And I thought this one was pretty unique. And what I like about these is that it's not really something I see in the charity shops too often. So I'm really happy that I managed to find some trims. Next, I picked up some small fabric pieces. These range between 50 pence and £1.50. And in hindsight, it was a little bit expensive for the amount of fabric that I got. But I don't mind too much because I was supporting a charity. So I found this pretty floral fabric. This is probably my favourite one that I found and I've only got a small piece of it. I also found this Christmas fabric and I'm going to use this in my Christmas journals. I also found this floral piece and that one was 50 pence. I also found a couple of these white floral ditzy patterns and I really liked this one and I've got two of those. And I've also got two of these dark floral patterns as well. I also picked up this fabric. I think I paid £2 for this white fabric and I really liked it because I think it's called an eyelet pattern or something. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not really clued up on my fabrics but um, I really liked it anyway. I also found a linen set. So I've got a few of these. I think there might be six, two, three, four, five. There's six of those and I think they were coasters. And then I also managed to find the matching napkins and I think there's only five of these so there is one missing and I paid £2.50 for all of those. I also found this linen. This has a floral design and it's in this beautiful light pink colour. I paid £1.50 for that and I absolutely love this one. I also picked up this doily. I paid a pound for this one. And I also found this one. This one was £1.50. And then the last fabric I found was this one. I paid £2 and it measures 40 inches by 34 inches. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet, whether I'm going to cut up the pieces individually or something. I don't know, but I loved it and I thought £2 was actually really good for this amount of fabric. I also managed to find a couple of card games. So I've got Can You Go and Bazique, is that how you say it? I'm not too sure. So I already have a copy of Can You Go, but it's always worth having another copy. And what I like about this one is that the playing cards inside are half the size of a normal playing card. And I just think they make really good pieces of ephemera. And I paid 99 pence for that one. I also found this one. And what I loved about this one was the design on the front of the box. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to be using this box as storage in my craft room. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to store in it yet, but I know I'll definitely be able to find something. So I paid £1.99 for this game, and unfortunately I think there's a deck of cards missing. There's two markers, a red and a blue, but I only have the red deck of cards here, so I'm assuming the blue ones are missing. 
they have the same designs on them so my plan for these is to add them to the ephemera or goodie bags that I send along with my journals when I sell them in my shop. Next, I found some sewing patterns from the early 90s. These ones are quite large and I have five of them. I only paid two pounds for them all. And although I probably won't use the covers because they're a bit tatty and they're not as vintage as I would like, I will be able to use the sewing pattern that was inside all of them. So these sewing patterns make a really great base layer. So you can use them on masterboards, tags, journaling cards and things like that. And I don't usually find five for two pounds. I usually will find one small one for about four pounds. So I thought two pounds was really, really good. Next are the books that I found. I've mentioned in a previous thrift haul that I've been trying not to buy books because I already have so many. I've completely run out of storage space to store them, but I just couldn't resist. So I found two of these books. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with these stories, but they are The Flower Fairies and they're by Cicely Mary Barker. I only managed to find autumn and spring. I couldn't find winter or summer. They are quite small, um, but I just love them. So these pictures inside make really good journaling cards. And I paid a pound for those too. This next book was such a lucky find. I'm not sure if you can tell from the front, but these designs are by Edith Holden. And I've never seen this book before ever, so I was really happy to find it. And inside there is every month of the year and Edith Holden's designs just illustrate the pages. And I absolutely love it. And it's completely unused as well. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's just really, really pretty. Then I found this Victorian floral photograph album and I paid a pound for this one and inside there's just lots of different album sleeves with floral patterns and I thought maybe I could use this in my junk journals, maybe for the covers or perhaps the insides. I'm not 100% sure but I just thought it was really cool and the illustrations were really pretty. So there's that one. So the last book I found was this one. I found it in the children's book section and I wouldn't usually bring something like this with me home because there aren't that many pictures inside. But I was drawn to one particular image and it was this one. I absolutely love it and I'm gonna be using it in one of my journals. But the main reason I brought it home with me was because it's got my mother-in-law's name on the inside of the front cover. I haven't really talked about this anywhere, but my mother-in-law sadly passed away in August last year and I found this book in November and I couldn't just leave it on the shelf. For some reason, it was telling me to just bring it home with me. So that is what I decided to do. Um, but I'm going to be turning this hardcover book into an altered journal and I'm gonna keep it for myself. My father-in-law does know that I make journals and cut up books, so because he donated it, I'm sure he's not going to mind if I cut it up and use it. The last item I found was this pretty floral vase. I've been looking for a vase for my craft room for quite a while and I absolutely love the design of it. It's a chrysanthemum and I only paid a pound for it and I'm going to either use it to store flowers in or maybe pens, pencils and paintbrushes. I haven't fully decided, but I've been looking for one for so long and I'm so happy I've now found one. So that was the last item I found. So that's my little thrift haul of crafty supplies. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.